Good evening. Good evening, self. Um, January, I believe it's the 11th. I think it's the 11th, January 11th, uh, 2024. Um, going on 11 p.m. Oh man, good day. Um, overall, a pretty solid day. Um, slept well again last night, two nights in a row. What up? Um, and let's see, get the dogs taken care of and did my normal, uh, normal morning routine, kind of jumped right into work. Um, you know, it's funny, uh, I talked to my other video about <clears throat> how our space is telling us things and the purpose of that was to talk about how I transformed my living room and took the couch and put it in the other room and uh, put my desks in here and it took a few days and I was kind of like oh this isn't really gonna work um I just I felt still like it it just wasn't very productive and today was the first day where maybe the second day where I I just kind of naturally sat down and started to work like right away and um whereas normally I would, I would have to think about going into that other room and then like getting set up and then doing it. And this way it's almost just treated like a part of my day versus like an activity that I have to go and do. So it made, you know, taking a break and then going back into work or doing my lunch and then getting back into work, just a really easy, seamless process. And, um, and yeah, I'm like really happy to say that that worked wonders. It worked amazingly. Um, so yeah, that was good. Uh, what else is happening? Happening. Um, got a lot done, got a run in. Uh, Layla's new fancy ass food came in today, so we fed her that. And oh, but before doing all that, <clears throat> I went to a really great event tonight. Um, so uh, <laughs> this is this is weird. I feel like it's maybe not very, it's not normal to like open your phone and get on an app and then like the app is telling you that there's a meetup happening for the app. Cause it's kind of like, kind of dorky. Like, you know, I don't know. It depends on the app, I guess. But you know, you see an event, you think meetup, you're like, okay, what's this going to be like? But I felt pretty optimistic about it. So the app is called Opal. Um, they're not like affiliated with this video or anything like that, but I've been using it for, um, I guess like a few months now and, um, it has been such a, like a life changing app. Um, it's an app that's designed to block other apps. So you stay focused on what you're doing and their mission is really great. And the app is really good. And, um, yeah, the other day, yesterday, no, no, it was last week, I think, I just opened it up and um, and it was like, hey, there's an, a New York City meetup for Opal users, RSVP, and I was like, <laughs> it's kind of weird, but whatever. So I looked at it and I was like, well, actually, hold on a second. The app itself is centered on this idea that we need to be more focused, intentional, present in what we're doing. And uh, like what better of an event to go to than an, than an event where people are probably not going to be looking at their phones like at all or, or super limited. Um, or if they're like anyone else in the room, they probably have their phone accessibility blocked so that they can be in the room. And so I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. Like, I'll just I'll RSVP. So RSVP, week passes. Today I get the you know the notification and I'm like, oh, I really don't want to go. Not because of the event, but I'm in Crown Heights and the event was like, you know, near Bowery. And I was just kind of like, eh, I think maybe, I don't know, I don't really feel like it. No one's gonna go with me. You know, it's going to be a solo event, which is fine, but I was kind of like not really feeling that today. And I was like, dude, 
fucking commit, man. Like you're in New York City, events happen. You need to get out. You need to meet people. Bring some freaking business cards. Do the work. <laughs> like I know it's a Thursday. You're not even going to drink, but just go and enjoy it and try to meet some people. And, uh, and so I just tried to like change my mindset about it and went into it a little bit more optimistically. So, um, all right. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to go take my shower, get ready, leave. And, um, yeah. And then on the way there, I'm like, okay, this is good. I'm getting out. I'm going to be in the city for, for an hour. Um, but it'll be, it'll be nice. So, um, walk into the hotel, it's on the, uh, rooftop, uh, bar and, um, talk to the guy, he lets me in the elevator and I'm kind of like the only one in there. And then right as it's about to go in, another guy gets on and, uh, and then this girl was about to get on. So two of us in the elevator and his name is Alex. And I was like, uh, we kind of looked at each other and we we're both like, are you going to the Opal thing? He's like, yeah, I'm going to the Opal thing. I was like, me too. It's kind of weird, right? Like, yeah, it is kind of weird. Like, you know, you open your phone and you, there's a notification that they're having their very first Opal meetup. And so we both kind of like sat there and laughed, but he, he wasn't like a weird dude. Like we're both actually very similar. Okay. So we're both, we're both weird. Um, and, uh, and so we, you know, we, we get to the top of three of us and um, he and I are talking along the way and he's telling me that he's an editor. I'm telling him architect and photographer. Um, and then we go in there and it's, it's just like probably 40 or 50 people who were there because of the app, who were there just to so to socialize and to meet the team who built the app. And, uh, and yeah, it, it was like, it was super cool. And everybody of course is by themselves. No one came with anyone. So everybody was like alone, but together. Um, yeah, it was, it was really good. And so you know, anyways, talked to a bunch of people, everybody had different professions and I mean, it's New York city. So naturally you're going to just meet people who do a bunch of different things. And, um, Anyway, yeah, I met a, met a, a new buddy, uh, Giancarlo, who, if you're watching this, he's my second subscriber. Thanks, man. Uh, a couple other times while I was talking to people about what I do, one of the things that came up was YouTube um, as like a thing that I wanted to get into. And um, I'm very fast to just be like, oh, I'm starting a YouTube channel because I'm not really sharing this with anybody. And, um, and <laughs> Anyways, and at the very end of the, the night, I said that to someone and he was like, no, you started a YouTube channel. And I was like, okay, fine. I started a YouTube channel, but I'm not telling anybody about it. <laughs> so we kind of had a laugh, but um, yeah, it was really, it was an awesome time. Um, turns out that uh, one of the guys, Alex, that I was riding up in the elevator with, he's like the exact person, the exact type of person that I'm looking to collaborate with on projects around film and video and you know all things social um yeah so we we connected and uh, I think we we're gonna start just ideating and bouncing around ideas and it was really exciting it was like a it was a really good event I'm glad I got the hell out of my apartment and trekked into the city and did something like that um you know much like doing these videos or doing morning pages and journaling um, you know, you got, you have to kind of break yourself out of whatever norm you're in and then, and then step into a realm of, uh, discomfort or inconvenience and lean into it. So, um, it was a great day, great day, met some cool people, really excited about it. And, uh, it gave me a whole new, um, uh, a whole new kind of burst of energy for whatever I create next. So um, that's it. Um, see you tomorrow and good night.